It's Jim Dizzle from Palace Fan TV joining us here on 100% LCFC. How are you, Jim? Very yo, good. yo, 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 yo. I'm good. I'm good. Good to have you with us. And uh, fresh from Reading last Friday, you guys. Yeah, it was it was a good result. It was the easiest draw of the quarterfinal. And unlike Palace, we made it look easy and we did what we had to do. I saw your video. You were there, weren't you? In the I was there. Fantastic. 5,000 Palace fans making a lot of noise. It was it was brilliant. It was just one of those memorable uh, away days of the season. And who have you got, uh, Jim, in the semi-finals? We've got, again, probably the most favourable draw, which is Watford, although Watford fans would probably be saying the same about playing Palace uh, at the moment. But uh, I think we've got a, a fantastic chance of making it to Wembley. And to be honest, out of the four teams left, or uh, West Ham and Man U, a, a good chance of actually winning it, which yeah. sounds crazy. Well, like you say, Watford, it's going to be an interesting one. It's nearly a derby match, isn't it? Not quite a... Sort of. And the last time we played them at Wembley, we beat them 1-0 in the playoff final in 2013. So we're going to try and sort of rise from the ashes of that and and make that happen again. Well, Palace fans will pack their end of the... uh... Of Wembley, they'll they'll fill that out. Won't no problems. I'm not sure Watford will quite, but it should be a great uh, great semi final. It'll be good. The the final in 2013 was brilliant, but both ends were really packed. Loads of balloons, and we we like doing balloons at these. I know you guys do. Yeah, yeah. We love our balloons, and it adds to the atmosphere. And uh, that was a memorable day. So hopefully it'll be it'll be similar. But Jim, I'm going to bring you right back down. <laughs> really back down. Oh God. How many? When was the last time you won in 2016? In the league, we we haven't. The last time we won in the league was December the nineteenth, which was twenty fifteen, last what? year. And what on earth has been going on then? Because when we last chatted, you guys and Leicester, we were sort of there and there, and we thought, yeah, you know, what a season. But you're a bit closer to the relegation end now. And I, I think Leicester and Palace have got very similar squads, similar size teams, similar squads. Probably not a lot of difference in quality, but we've just had a combination of a, a bit of a loss of form. Some injuries to key players, some bad luck in games, goalkeepers dropping the ball, you know, when normally they wouldn't. All those things coming together for kind of a perfect bad storm, if you will. Um, Whereas any other season, those things might play out at different points. We've had it all at the same time. And as a result, we've just we've not picked up points, but we haven't been playing that badly really, in a lot of the games. Maybe the Aston Villa game, we were awful. But that aside, we've been playing OK. And we're hoping that on Saturday, our luck just sort of starts to go for us, really. I watched uh, you play Liverpool and you were incredibly unlucky in that one, I think, to, to not exactly. only, well, to lose it, really, at the end there. I mean, you, that, that game was, was almost summed up our whole season in that we, ma- we matched them. We were probably the better team, I'd say, for, for the first hour. And then James Milner went off for a red card and you thought, here we go, it yeah. turn and it just it turned Liverpool's way. And whether that was a lack of confidence on the Palace side, I don't know. And then you had that horrible error from McCarthy. Mm. So really, that's kind of been Palace all season, looking good, but not quite being able to then kick on and actually make something of it. Who do you think is going to hurt us from Palace? Who's going to hurt Leicester's team? Well, there's rumours that Connor Wickham is back after yeah. injury. He's been very unlucky with injury. And uh, before he, he got injured recently, he scored four goals in two games. which was starting to look like he might be the man up top. Yeah, when he plays, he scores. And, and I've got to be honest, Leicester looked at him, I think, last summer and the summer before to try and buy him a few times before he came to Palace. He's a, he's a really is a good quality player, isn't he? And he's very young. He's only 22. He's got yeah. qualities to be a good striker. And we're hoping he'll be back. Um, but otherwise, it's our wingers. You know, Yannick Balassi was out. We haven't won since he last played in the league, or when we last won was when he got injured. We missed him massively. He's got so much pace and power and frightens teams. And if him and Wilf Zaha on each wing can have a good game, I feel like that's that's for us where games are won and lost. Yeah, and again, we we, we think Palace, like Leicester, play counter-attacking football. So do you think that will nullify the game, or do you think it's going to be a highly exciting game? Well, you, you, on the preview for Palace Fan TV, you said it'll be a dull game. I think I'm going to go the other way and think it'll be exciting. I think it'll be one of those games uh, where Palace possibly can sniff, feel like they can sniff a result. You know, they believe they can beat anyone in this league. Obviously, it hasn't happened. But they'll be, <laughs> yeah. com- they'll be, in fact, mostly defeats. They'll be confident and they'll certainly try. With the cup, with the cup win behind us, hopefully that'll give us momentum and we'll certainly go into it. I think looking to be attacking, whether that works against Leicester. I think maybe that might open us up to be hit on the counter. But I think as a result, that could make for quite an end-to-end game. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for joining us on 100% LCFC TV this week. We hope we beat you, but good luck after that and good luck in the (laughs) semi-final. Thank you. Cheers, Jim. Cheers.